What happened while we were away brought to you by President Dementia, the Scarf Queen reappears, and a Keep Your Religion Out of My Bedroom update. There are a ton of worthwhile stories to cover that happened before and after the momentous news dropped at the Supreme Court on Friday, but we'll start right back there. Yesterday, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a Seattle high school football coach who was placed on paid leave for leading post-game prayers in the 50-yard line of the school's football field. The court ruled 6-3 in his favor, saying the school district violated his First Amendment rights. The White House recently announced their intentions to alter Title IX. The changes would essentially do away with the First Amendment on college campuses and criminalize the misgendering of students. Here's the artist formerly known as Richard Levine. Gender-affirming care is life-saving, medically necessary, age-appropriate, and a critical tool for health care providers. As a pediatrician, when it comes to making sure kids are healthy and happy, I know how important care that affirmed someone's true identity can be. Joe Biden officially called on Congress to enact a gas tax holiday. A gas tax holiday that will offer you pennies for 90 days, but probably won't deliver those pennies. It's a gimmick. You know you are being tricked. You know politicians are saying something just to get through the next election instead of actually solving the problem. Whoops, wrong clip. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm says, shut up and be thankful, you peons. If you went to the UK today for a gallon equivalent, you would be paying $7.71. If you went to France, you'd be paying $8.49. If you went to Canada, you'd be paying over six dollars per gallon if you went to singapore you'd be paying over nine dollars per gallon this is happening around the world back to biden he was caught on camera with a list of directions for him during a recent meeting at the white house the list biden was holding read you enter the roosevelt room and say hello to participants you take your seat you give brief comments and so on and so forth it's also been revealed that joe biden unwittingly paid for his son hunter's participation in a Russia-linked escort ring, spending nearly $30,000 on escorts. A video on the younger Biden's laptop from hell shows Hunter confronting a scared, young-looking Russian escort. I was literally saying, I'm sorry that it took so long to give you $10,000. Sweetheart, look at me. You cannot talk to me that way and say things like that. Because... I'm more respectful than anyone you've ever met. Shortly after that January 2019 video was made, Joe Biden sent Hunter about $5,000. This is all according to a report from the Washington Examiner. The Senate bill, which incentivizes states to set up red flag laws, passed in the House of Representatives on Friday. The bill was signed into law by Joe Biden a couple of days ago. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra says his agency is looking at using taxpayer dollars to fund transportation for women to fly to states to have their babies executed. We are working with... Uh uh, supporters on the ground to make sure that we are providing services to women where we can. Uh, we are looking into everything, including assisting in transportation, something that HHS doesn't typically do. Can you do that legally? Uh, talk to me later. Uh, <laughs> the scarf queen herself, Dr. Deborah Burks, was questioned by Congressman Jim Jordan about the COVID jabs. When the government told us, told the American people, that people who had been vaccinated couldn't get it, were they guessing or were they lying? I don't know. Here's a chart with data from Switzerland showing the vaccination uptake rate with the number of live births in that country going back to 2016. I'm just going to give you some time to look at that. Obviously, nothing to see there. The mom who saved her own kids from the Uvalde massacre says she's now being harassed by the Uvalde, Texas Police Department. Anjali Rose Gomez says she's been threatened by police and has faced increased scrutiny after she spoke to the media about how she saved her children. She's since moved her children in order to spare them the intimidation by the police. Arizona gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake absolutely wrecked this CNN reporter. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Come off and see you don't have a mask on anymore. What's <laughs> going on? Outside. Do you have a wow. minute to well, chat? we're six feet apart. <laughs> Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. Does that still exist? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think so because the people don't like what you guys are peddling, so, which is propaganda. Thank do you. you. Do you 
emotional damage. Keep your religion out of my bedroom update. This was a recent pride parade in Minneapolis. For those of you listening, what we're watching is a fat, bald old man in nothing but tidy whities shaking his butt around in front of a toddler. And finally, the latest from Anna Dace. You can find that and more like it by following the Steve Day Show Instagram and TikTok pages at Steve Day Show on both. And that's what happened while we were away.